Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. A couple weeks ago I did a video on what's in my binders and spoiler alert if you haven't seen the video it's stamps and I also showed you my stamp wall over there and we took a little tour of that and um, after I got done filming it and I had it uploaded to, you uploaded to YouTube I realized I did not show how I stored my, pe my peg stamps and that's because my peg stamps are not stored over here, they're stored underneath my big crafty table. Oh, it's a mess. That's my big crafty island. That is a mess. Hey, it's real. I keep it real here, right? So it's underneath. I, I keep it underneath there because I generally do my card making over on that table because I don't know about you, but I make a huge mess when I'm making cards. I need, I sprawl. Like this does not cut it when I'm making cards. I can paint here because, you know, you only have so many tools and supplies you're using when you paint. But when I'm making cards, I swear, I pull out things that I have not seen in decades. I don't know. I, I'll have my like, you know, second grade report card out when I'm making cards for some reason. I don't know. It's crazy. So since I had my makeup on, my hair done from something else I was filming today, I figured I'm going to show you how I store my peg stamps. Funny thing, I was actually teaching at a convention um, a couple of years ago and this man came up to me who I it was the husband of one of my students and, and he goes, you Lindsay, the frugal crafter? And I said, yes, I'm getting ready for my class. He goes, no, you don't look like her. <laughs> Like, wow, it, without the lighting and the makeup I normally wear, I apparently do not look like look anything like I do right now. And I also wear glasses usually, so I can seriously, if I ever get famous from this YouTube thing, all I gotta do is put on my glasses and I am generic middle-aged woman, no longer the frugal crafter, and I could just go anywhere. I never ever have to worry about like being famous and being recognized if this YouTube thing ever takes off. But anyways, I digress. How I store my peg stamps. Since they weren't with all my other stamps, when I did the tour, I neglected to show you how I steer them. How I have them is this really heavy crate. Ugh. It's actually a crate. It's a wooden box that wooden blocks came in from um, when my kids were little. It was like a Melissa and Doug set of blocks, and I couldn't bear to get rid of the crate after the box. actually used the blocks on my peg stamp, on my peg stamp, on my regular stamp wall, like down towards where I have risers where you can see like two layers of stamps. I put those wooden blocks in the back and I make risers so that I can have a couple stamps there so I can kind of see everything and use the, make the best use of that space because really that takes up a ton of wall space. Um, but I really love looking at the stamps. I like being able to grab one off the wall. If I didn't have them out on display, I wouldn't use them. Um, so for me, it's worth using that space for that, but that just gives me a little more space. So um, I filled up that crate. I do, and in full disclosure, I do some work for Rubber Stamp Tapestry, so who makes the peg stamps. Um, so I do have a huge amount of their stamps. So I started off like most stampers do with just a couple sets and they were um, just in a small box. But after getting a few sets, I put them in this crate and actually, you know what? Let me tip the camera down. That will make a lot more sense. Let me just tip that down there and you can kind of see in the crate. Um, so I have them all on the, just standing on the end, which is fine because the bottom of this crate is smooth. And that way I can look through and I can see everything that I have. These come packaged, when you order them, they come in a set, um, in like a clear box and um, with a little index card that shows you what's in the set. And I'm gonna show you those little index cards here because what I do with them is something a little bit different. I take the index cards and they're about three times the size of this. They're kind of long and they're in these, uh, well, I could grab one. Um, well, I think I think I can just just grab it all. It's just a clear box, and it comes with a paper insert that's got a little example for you. It's got instructions on how to use it, and it's it's quite a bit longer. So I just trim out the color uh, index and with the name on it, and that's how I keep it. And then I just I laminated these with some badge laminators because when I bought my laminator, I got it from LTD Commodities. It was like twenty bucks, and. Um, I it came and I also bought a little package of a hundred laminating sheets and they were all sorted sizes so there were like twenty badge laminators and twenty four by six and then twenty eight and a half by eleven okay there were more of each of those because it totaled a hundred and all but so I had a bunch of these and um, clearly more than twenty and so I just trimmed them down and laminated them and that way when I'm trying to figure out what I want to use um, I can flip through here and see what comes in a set because if I'm doing a video that's sponsored by them I want to try to keep it to not using a bunch of random different stamps I like to keep it in a set so if somebody is um, looking to purchase some stamps and they've never done it before. They're not like, oh my gosh, I have to buy a bazillion stamp sets to make this. So I like to try to stick to one or two sets so it's not too crazy.
crazy or too expensive for somebody to recreate the look if they want exactly what I've done. Um, but when I'm just stamping for fun, I just reach what I and grab whatever I want to use. I don't try, I don't worry about them being in the sets, but since I do work from them from time to time and do videos for their website, I make sure to keep these on hand. So um, I usually have a rubber band around these, which I don't right now for some reason. Um, and then since I outgrew my crate, I first had a box of just seasonal stamps, so I just found a shallow box. Fancy. I don't know what was in this. Oh, there. My address was just showing to all the people of the internet. I'll have to hope that that didn't show. <laughs> like, am I going to edit that out? I don't know. Um, uh, so I put all my Christmas ones, I took all the Christmas ones out, put them in a box together so I'd have room. And um, then the shorter ones, sometimes your stamp sets come with like a... Uh, jumbo mini a jumbo peg stamp and it's shorter and so I just put this in the shorter tray from the Dollar Tree and then um, anytime I come across a stamp set that I think would look really good with the peg stamps I will just kind of toss them in there Here's another one. Oh shoot where'd it go oh darn you know what's on the floor over there because it fell out of the box but anyways when I come across a stamp set that I think will work really good with the peg stamps like this little hanging basket um, from Impression Obsession I'll just throw it in there with it so the next time I'm just fooling around with the stamps I'll remember that I have it and I'll remember to use it. The other one was like a stampin' up one with a bunch of little baskets in there I thought it would be really cute. Uh, so that's how I store those. Um, I also have a bin of their unmounted stamps which are actually over there in the stamp shelf because I like to keep those in the bin um, because sometimes I'll be doing quite a few videos for them and I want to make sure if they're sponsoring a video I want to use as many of their products as possible because they're paying me to do that. Um, but in general, I will just grab whatever um, and just have fun with it, you know. And I always have fun. I have fun if they're sponsored or not. But that's just how I generally will use them. Like if I'm doing an, a card and I've got an envelope and I'm like about to send it off, I can go, oh, well, I can just grab one of these peg stamps and decorate the envelope really quick. I wouldn't make a video on that because it's just doing that for fun to dress up an envelope. I don't tape everything. I mean, that would be real boring um, to show everything my whole life. I could never be a blogger because I don't do that much interesting stuff. But um, that's how I store them. And they all kind of, because the stamps are a little bit shorter than the crate, they all kind of fit there and I, they're sitting on top of a bookshelf underneath my craft island because I stamp over there and I need to have access to them and every other thing I own when I'm making a card. And uh, yeah, that's how I store my peg stamps. I hope that was useful. Um, remember friends, if you cut down your own recycled mailing boxes to make storage for your home and you do YouTube videos, you might want to mark, you might want to scribble out your address. I think it was too small to say. I'll have to look back and see. It's probably fine. That's all. You and you guys are all, you know, you're all non-crazy people, hopefully. <laughs> That's all I have for today. Please give me a thumbs up if you, if you liked it. Until next time, happy crafting.